All right, okay, we've got Josh here now, and on this Friday, just as you guys in the weather department yeah. told us, it's going to start out dry and the rain is going to come in, and I, I think it's here now. Uh, yeah, a lot of folks are already starting to see some of the first few raindrops, and it's only going to continue to ramp up as we move into the weekend. But at least today, we started off kind of on the cloudy and foggy notes. So this is a look back out over the McMinnville area from earlier today as those clouds continue to race overhead, but not stopping our daytime high temperatures from getting up into the low 60s through the Willamette Valley. Valley, only 54 for Astoria, but Portland should be hovering in towards the mid to upper 50s for this time of year, so sitting well above average, and that will continue as we work our way into the weekend. Now, 57 degrees is where it currently sits out at the seaside area. Always love the, the dynamic cloud coverage out over the hillsides there on the coast as we see calm winds for now, but you'll notice this well-defined low pressure system. It's helping to push all of this wet weather back into western Oregon and Washington, and that's going to take us well into the weekend. So be prepared. The month of November is here as it's typically our second snowiest month of the year and that will be coming to fruition over the next several days as the first few raindrops are already starting to fall over the I-5 corridor. That's not expected to dry out until we get to tomorrow, but we do have a high wind warning in effect. This went into effect at midnight and will continue all the way through three o'clock on Saturday. That's where we could see some wind gusts upwards of 35 to 65 miles per hour out along the coast, and it will be gusty force here in Portland as well as the winds are still out of the east all the way through tomorrow morning. Those east winds help to keep our temperatures warm, only expected to fall back into the 50s for many of us here across the I-5 corridor as the winds transition a little bit more out of the south by lunchtime tomorrow. But we are preparing for a super soaker event, an atmospheric river, the second one of the season. It's had multiple punches our way this week already. We get the secondary one as we move our way into the overnight hours tonight, and that continues into the weekend where urban flooding is a possibility. But as far as the rain accumulation goes right now, just one one hundredth of an inch for Aurora Portland getting in on those first few raindrops right now until look at two one hundredths of an inch. But of course, those numbers are going to continue to rise as the atmospheric river pushes the plume of moisture all the way from the state of Hawaii across the Pacific Ocean into our area. But you'll notice as we work our way through the rest of the weekend, it starts to drift its way into the central regions of California that will help to dry us out for the second half of the day on Saturday. Here it is all timed out widespread heavy rain and persistent rain is expected. Those yellows and oranges a good indication of where stronger rain showers are expected. And for the start of the day tomorrow, maybe even a rumble of thunder, a bolt of lightning, all a possibility anywhere from the coast to the foothills of the Cascades. And then we slowly dry things out for the second half of the day tomorrow. So for tonight, maybe about a quarter of an inch for us here in the I-5 corridor. Fast forward to the end of the week, and we're talking about almost two inches of rain. Again, keep a lot of those drainage systems on the roadways clear of the leaves to help the reduction of flooding. But there's that thunderstorm potential. Nothing severe, but gusty winds a possibility. And then into Sunday, expecting that to still remain out along the coast. Let's now talk about the snowfall. It's going to be very lackluster for us as those temperatures sit on the warmer side of things. But you'll notice it starts to dip down close to those mountain passes for the start of next week. Now for tonight, we expect to fall to about 58 degrees. The winds continuing to increase out the east at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Gusts nearing 25 miles per hour. But look, gusts tomorrow maybe 35 miles per hour as that thunderstorm potential remains through much of the day. Now, if you're heading out to the Blazers game out at Moda Center today, expect to see temperatures slide back into the upper 50s and those winds and the rain will start to ramp up. Seven day forecast. The wet weather takes us through the weekend into the start of next week. It's not until we get to about the middle and end of next week that we start to see those temperatures stabilize in the mid 50s. A little bit more of that sunshine to come our way as well. And don't forget tomorrow night before you head to bed, or if you want to do it right when it strikes two o'clock, we'll fall back one hour. So we will be seeing those earlier sunsets within the four o'clock hour. Mm, all right. And I know we'll get back to those temperatures, which, you know, make it feel like sweater weather, which is Yes, like. it, it's <laughs> November. It's supposed to feel like that. There you go. Thanks, Josh. Yeah. Welcome.